Hey folks, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a technique that I've learned for a while called cell shading. This is a certain coloring style that you see in a lot of animes and mangas. And usually what it is, is they apply a very simple shading without blending it, so it makes it easier to animate. But this can also not only be used in animation, it can also be used in illustrations as well. It's a technique that I've been using on my drawings ever since then. And the cool thing about it is that it can easily adapt to any other coloring style. It doesn't take a lot of time and it's very, very easy to learn. So let's get to it. So for this video, I'm gonna be using this uh, illustration that I did of this weird little creature right here. And uh, I've got my lines layer here, my flat colors layer here. So what I'm gonna do first off is the shading. So we'll go over here, create another layer above the flat colors layer. And then I right click here and go to where it says create clipping mask. And what this does is that it allows me to draw on the shape itself without going outside of the line. Now we're going to pick a, a shading color and I'm going to go with a sort of, uh, sort of a bluish purple color. Uh, yep. That's just about right. And then what I do is I, Oh, uh, before I forget, set this shading uh, layer over here to multiply. And then using the pen, uh, the pen tool, I mean, you can use the lasso tool if you want. Uh, I prefer to use the pen tool. So I start selecting the areas that I want to shade. Okay, now that we've selected the areas we want to right click, go to where it says fill path. Make sure our opacity is 100%. Make sure your opacity is 100%. Click OK. And we got our shading here. Now, if it's a little too strong the color, you can always turn down the opacity over here. Uh, but I think that's just about fine. Right here. Uh, we'll see. Maybe just a little bit, yeah. All right. I'll side note, I also highly recommend to go on Google and look up uh, cell shading references as well to get an idea of like the lighting and the color choices you can make. Okay, now that we got the shading done, I'm gonna be doing the highlights. I'm gonna set this to overlay. I'm gonna be picking a complementary color, a, I'm gonna pick a pale yellow here. And using the pen tool, I'm gonna start selecting all the areas that I'm going to add light color to. I'm gonna make a new layer. I'm gonna add some uh, little white highlights here on the eyes. Okay, I'm gonna make things a little more interesting. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be coloring the line art just just to make it pop out more. So what I do is I make another layer, do the same thing, create a clipping mask. I'm gonna pick a very dark brownish color. Then I go to adjustments, click hue saturation, bring down the lightness and bring up the saturation. I think we'll keep it right up there. That, that's, that's good enough. And last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a bit of a glow to this, make a little look a little more uh, animated in a way. So what I do is I select these layers. I duplicate it. And then I merge those layers into one layer. Then I go to filter, down to blur. 
and then I select Gaussian blur and I'm gonna bring it to uh, probably 15 no uh, bring it to 14.1 I think that's good enough then I take the opacity and I bring it down to roughly 40 then I click actually bring it down to 50 then I click overlay and uh, yeah there we go I think it's looking good right there and that's uh, the basic uh, lessons on how to do cell shading thank you for watching guys as always leave a like and a comment down below subscribe and I'll see you in the next video Take care.